for our third speaker, which he's also going to get mad at me because I also left his introduction <laughs> in the printer. But I know him well. It's easy to tell that he's from Cuba. No, China. <laughs> And he's also a world traveler because every few months he goes away from us and then he comes back. But we're always welcome to come back. And he did not give me a title, but it is. I did. No, you didn't. I'll tell it to you. You It's Chinese folk love story in a seven to nine minutes. Thanks. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and the guests. Do you know the story behind Chinese Valentine's Day? Probably you never heard of Chinese Valentine's Day, right? But the, this festival, or this holiday, or this day has been celebrated for almost 2,000 years. So today I'm going to tell you the story behind the Chinese Valentine's Day as a delay. <laughs> Millions of years ago, there was a beautiful girl whose name is Vega, and she was the granddaughter of the goddess in the heaven. There was a handsome boy whose name is Artel. Both of them grew up together and they fell in deep love. But unfortunately, love was forbidden in the heaven. Finally, the goddess discovered that, and both, both of them was penalized. Our tail was forced to move down to the earth, and Vega was forced to weave the beautiful, colorful cars. The cars, you know that, the cars are unpredictable, unpredictable. They change from moment to moment, from season to season from places to places. So, uh, so Vega had to work very hard. In fact, he worked extremely hard. He tried to please the goddess so that the goddess may let the boy, Artel, return to the heaven. Since Artel left, Vega was very sad and she cried every day, she shed tears every day. One day, seven fairies go to talk to the goddess, say, can we go to the earth to take a bath in a beautiful lake on the earth? And their trip was approved by the goddess. The fairies also asked whether they can take <coughs> Vega with them, because Vega has been so unhappy all the time. Goddess was also very sad to see his grand girl or his granddaughter was so sad all the time. So she, she also approved to have the fairies to bring Vega with them. So the Artel, after Artel returned to the went down to the earth, and he was reborn, he was reborn in a farmer's family. Soon his parents passed away and he had to live with his brother's family. But he was not treated very well by his brother's family. And his brother asked him to live alone and, and to be on his own. His brother gave him an old ox. So one day, the ox suddenly opened up his mouth and told Artel, I'll tell, go to check out the beautiful lake. There will be eight beautiful girls coming from the heaven. They will be taken back. The girl on red will be your wife. Just steal her robe. And I'll tell was surprised to hear this. And then he asked, the brother ox, you can talk? Are you serious? And then the ox not. Our tail rushed to the lake and hid in the bush. 
And a few moments later, and he saw seven, eight beautiful girls come down from the heaven. And so they took up the rope and jumped into the lake and start, you know, playing. And our tail came out of the bush and snatched away the rest, you know, rope. And when the other girls saw this, they came out from the water and put on their clothes and flew away. But one girl was left, and she was so shy and so embarrassed. So she was vain. Our tail approached her and explained to her what happened. And he also asked Vega to be his wife. And I'll tell Vega immediately recognized this young man in front of her was actually our tail. So she agreed. So after marriage, they had a beautiful, had a wonderful marriage, and they had a son and a daughter. But things didn't last for very long. Eventually, the goddess found out, and she was so pissed off. <laughs> so she sent an army of soldiers to the earth and to take Vega back to the heaven. A few moments later, an army of soldiers came down from the heaven with strong winds and so they grabbed Vega and took her back. Vega's heart was broken, of course she was very sad. And on their way back to the heaven, Vega heard that, Darling, wait for me, darling, wait for me. And she turned his head around and she saw our tail was flying behind, waving the ox skin. The ox, before the ox died, the ox told our tail, say, our tail, I'm dying. After I die, just strip off my skin. You will need my skin one day when you need to fly. So, so our tail did that before, before that incident. When Vega and our tail almost touch each other, the goddess suddenly appeared. So she drew a pen, a pin from her hair, and drew a line, and a huge river was formed that was Milky Way. The river was so wide and so deep, so they could not, uh, they could not swim. So both of them were separate. So one on, on one side of the Milky Way, the other one on the other side. They cried every day. So their love moved a lot of people, almost everyone in the heaven. Even the goddess was touched a little bit. And she agreed that our tail and their kids could stay in the heaven. But they could only meet once a year. That is July 7th, Chinese lunar year. Of course, they were not happy because they only they could only meet once a year. On that evening of July 7th, a huge number of magpies used their body to form a temporary bridge for them to meet. And it's also said the people on earth could hear them talk if you are underneath grave candles. The story has motivated or has touched so many people. 